lacrosse is North America's oldest sport. It was back in the 1400s that people started playing with a distinctive netted stick. French missionaries decided the stick resembled the staff-like crozier or cross carried by bishops. And so, the game became known as lacrosse. Lacrosse has never been more popular than it is today. To make a lacrosse stick, a hickory log is split down the middle. This tree was cut in the autumn, when the sap is out. The log is subdivided into eight pieces. Each piece then goes through a bandsaw, which trims it to a width of five centimetres. Hickory is used because it's tough and can withstand the high-impact game of lacrosse. But it needs to be softened up so the sticks are steamed for 45 minutes. Then, the hickory sticks are placed in a jig. In this steamy state, the wood is flexible and one end is curled around a form. A wire is looped around it so it will hold a crook-like shape while the wood dries for one month. After that, the other end is steamed, placed in a jig and bent back just below the crook. This is called the back bend. It's set on a rack to dry and harden. This is the basic form. As you can see, it resembles the bishop's crozier, the one that inspired the name of the game. After two weeks of drying, the stick is ready to be carved. Using a drawing knife, the bark is shaved from the stick. It's sculpted to make it thinner, following the bends of the stick. It's a skilled job that requires years of experience. Next, holes are drilled in the curve of the stick, 21 in total. Then it gets a heavy sanding. The surface has to be absolutely smooth so the player won't get any splinters. Linseed oil is rubbed into the stick to prevent the wood from getting too dry. The brand name goes on. And now it's time for the weaver to build the side wall of the net. In the old days, they used raw hide for this, but today they weave with nylon string. He interlaces it with leather runners that have been threaded through the holes at the back bend. He brushes polyurethane on the completed side web to stiffen it. Next, he attaches the other end of the leather runners to the top of the crook. The player will be able to change the depth of the netted pocket to his or her preference. He interlaces the leather runner weave with the nylon sidewall. And then, pulls the woven pocket over a post to give it some shape. He loops the ends of the leather runners in a half hitch and snips off the excess. Every detail of this lacrosse stick has been handcrafted. It's a process that has taken three months. So now, let the game begin. Might be better with more than two of you though. 